So a few years ago, I did a couple of concerts in the hospital, but it was very low key. It was just a gold coin donation for very small projects. Right. And the idea was, my, my idea was just to bring people together, right. have a nice afternoon. And I was kind of the blend between medicine and music. And then because of my friends in the operatic society, you know, it was, a, and it was nice to blend both together and we had a lovely afternoon. But then the cost started growing and, and people said this can be done a, on a bigger scale. Um, and that's when the second concert I did, Waikira Heart Trust. So there's a heart trust called Waikira Heart Trust, which exists where people donate to the heart trust and the heart trust helps the DHB for cardiology to develop new technologies. So there's a procedure called TAVI where, uh, you know, you can put a valve into the heart through the groin without opening your chest. Waikato Hospital was the first in New Zealand public hospital to do it with the help of the Heart Trust. So Heart Trust pumped in the money uh, and uh, that's where the whole thing started in New Zealand. So, so they're quite keen to implement new technology and fund that program. So this is where this current concert is coming in. So I'm pushing the boundaries in Waikato more and more. Which will, you know, the thing is, you start one in one part of the country, it will slowly spill over to the rest of the country. That's how it works usually. So, and uh, it's, and it's not because I think it's a cool thing to do. The need is required. The need is there. You know, so, um, so the, the two things I want to move towards in Waikato is one is called, uh, you know, external like cardio health, which is. Um, uh, it's almost like a, having a small bypass machine inside the cath lab. So people who come with cardiac arrest or you have a very complicated procedure where the heart's failing, you can quickly put these people onto the support machine and keep doing the procedure and complete the procedure and keep the patient on that machine and slowly win them out. Win, win them out. We, don't, we don't do that in New Zealand at the moment. Have I seen it? I've seen it in other countries and this is the new norm which is coming in and these are not cheap to run uh, and there is manpower expense expertise expense and uh, it's not just a machine it's the people behind it to run the sh program also you know so so we have the capacity and capability in the hospital to run this and obviously we will develop that once we get the machine also so that's one thing. And the other one is um, laser atherectomy. So um, I deal with a lot of complex coronary blockages, some of which are extremely calcified. And uh, it's very hard to put a stent in these blockages un until you crack these calcium and open it up and make the artery pliable. And then you can put a stent inside. Right now we do procedures called road ablation where we drill the calcium and there's another thing called shockwave lithotripsy where it's like a it's a concept of uh, blasting kidney stones same thing we use from inside the heart to blast these calcium so these we do have that but there are cases where both these technologies won't help and laser will be very useful this year alone i've had about five cases where I had to back off. I couldn't finish the case and I can't help. And I know that if I have laser, I could have finished the case. So, and why am I, why are we seeing these more? Because people are living longer and we are seeing more complex disease because of that. And we are able to intervene on these complex diseases also. So that's why we're seeing this. So 20 years ago, you won't see this because they will just die or just live a miserable life and we'll say that there's nothing they can do. But we do have a solution for this and uh, and I've seen this work uh, and I wish I had laser for those five cases to finish those cases. I didn't. So I had to back off and say, carry on with pills the best we can do. That's, that's all. So I feel the need is here and uh, uh, and, the, and laser is an expensive equipment up front. So there is an upfront cost to this. It's a very niche equipment uh, and uh, right now there's, there's no center in New Zealand 
has this equipment. Um, and because it's a niche with a high cost, you can see, you know, the DHPs, you know, as much as they are cash strapped, you know, it's very hard to justify buying it. So this, that's why I'm fundraising for this, because I believe it will be of a huge benefit and it will, it will benefit not just for cardiology, it will be benefit for vascular also yeah. uh, and uh, for other parts of the body. You know, I have already spoken to my other colleagues in vascular fields. They have, they are excited to use this. Um, and who knows? I mean, if you start in Waikiro, we can be a center of excellence for the country where people can come and use this. And if this becomes a more viable thing, other centers can get it. You know, so that's the aim. So, <clears throat> so the aim of the concert is to lift the profile of the heart trust. So. Uh, I want people to be aware of the heart trust and help the heart trust who then can help the DHP in moving forwards. That's what it is. Um, so obviously the people of the heart trust are, are the key people with this. <clears throat> and uh, I've got Dame Melvina Major, who has been fantastic in supporting me in this, uh, and um, friends from Hamilton Opera Society, whom I've worked with before, um, and they've been amazing in uh, offering their time for this. So, I, and I think we're just pushing it to another level uh, and doing it slightly more commercial way. Uh, we think the current concert we're doing will just break even. It's not like we're going to make tons of money just by selling tickets. But moving forward, you know, we want business leaders and, you know, people with deep pockets who can help uh, in the country to move forward. That's, that's the aim. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, the, the laser atherectomy you know, upfront it's going to cost about three hundred thousand uh, dollars, and there's a running cost which the DHB can afford. Uh, we've looked into that. the 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 other cardio health machine is not as expensive as laser therapy. I mean, it's it's only about ten twenty thousand dollars to buy upfront, and uh, uh, but there's a big. Um, you know, there's a big planning involved in setting it up and running in the hospital. So that's another big thing we need to do in terms of accommodating. You know, once you put the machine, the patient needs to go somewhere with the machine and uh, uh, it'll be an ICU or, you know, I mean, moving forward, just like Oakland has got a CV ICU, cardiovascular ICU, uh, Waikato Hospital needs, it needs that, you know, that's one thing Waikato is lacking. Right. And I think uh, it's very high time moving forward like a hospital has got a cardiovascular ICU separate from the standard ICU so that, and because we don't have a dedicated ICU, it creates bed blocks and the flow of patients get affected. Delays in surgery, cardiac surgery happens, you know, so I think that's the future. That's the, that's the way forward. Yeah. It's fabulous. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was it to, uh